Chicago, WLS, a series of heavy storms caused tornado warnings, reports of long tornado touchdowns, heavy rains, and strong winds throughout the Chicago area on Sunday night. Tornado warnings are issued until 12.45 a.m. in Will County, Illinois, and Lake, Jasper, Newton, and Porter County, Indiana. As of 11.35 p.m., the threat of stormy weather is passing through DuPage County, according to meteorologist Larry Morley. In southern DuPage County, both radar shown tornadoes and local storm spotters reported large tornadoes. Severe thunderstorm warnings have been issued in several counties in the Chicago area, according to the National Weather Service. The Cook, Kane, Kankakee, Kendall, Grundy, McHenry, Will, Lake, Ill and Inn, and Porter, Inn, counties are receiving NWS recommendations until 2 a.m. Shown by radar and seen by storm spotter, the wedge tornado is about 20 minutes above ground in DuPage County, near the southern tip of Naperville, and weakens after traveling about 10 to 15 miles west of Woodridge and Borage. Did. Justice, an area near Illinois. There have been reports of damage to Woodridge, Darien, and Borage, injuring three people in Naperville and reporting gas leaks. C. Tornado Road Rarely, a ball of debris created by an unidentified tornado appeared on radar near the I-55 area of Borage. C. A ball of tornado debris looks like a radar Morley said the area was the most violent tornado I've seen in a long time, and the extent of the damage seems to be large, especially because of its wedge shape. Schwartz says northeastern Illinois has recently experienced a large number of larger tornadoes, but far more rural areas with lower population densities. A video from Woodridge showed the damage of a widespread storm, with a large tree falling and a fire brigade on site. The rotation of the storm line continued to weaken as it continued to move east, but still resulted in heavy rains and severely damaging winds. The earliest isolated storms began to arrive around 1 p.m. related, ABC7 AccuWeather 7-day forecast overnight storm from Thursday to Friday it also brought strong winds, heavy rains and lightning to the Chicago area. The storm began to cross the Wisconsin border around 4 a.m. on Friday, and it appeared to be a fairly light show on the lake in McHenry County. According to Butler, the storm had spread throughout the region and had passed Chicago by about 8 a.m. On Evanston's Sheridan Road, trees fell across the road at around 4.45 a.m., and heavy rains appeared to smooth the road and pool water. According to Butler, winds of 40 to 50 miles per hour were recorded in the suburbs of Chicago. According to ComEd, more than 17,000 people lost power around 6 a.m. when the storm struck. However, rain is needed, especially in the northern suburbs. Lake and McHenry counties are currently experiencing extreme droughts, the worst since 2012. Copyright Copyright 2021 WLS-TV. All rights reserved. Chicago weather. A tornado was reported in DuPage County.